TJ and I at Brimfield, Massachusetts, waiting to start our portion of the Flea Market Flip TV show. There's a lot of waiting around. So it was so much fun, an experience a mother and son cannot put a price tag on. I'm so blessed to have had this adventure with him. We had a great film crew. Um, weather was decent. I can't complain about that. Uh, right here is our competition. We had fun with them, really nice girls. They were from upstate New York, uh, the Woodstock area. This was our, our favorite guy around. He was a great uh, camera guy. Here are some treasures that I just took pictures of from Brinfield while we were walking around. They just kind of inspired me, gave me ideas on what we needed to do. But here is, right there, that's our first treasure. This one, this is the project I love the most, I think, I think it was. Here's Lara Spencer, she just got there. Um, I guess she was at Good Morning America, and then she flies or comes to Massachusetts. It's amazing how fast things move. This is just some shots of us that day. It's like, I guess, from our perspective, what we got to watch. Here's TJ, and if you look in the background, Lara's in the, I think she's in orange. But there was like, I don't know, so many different people filming at the same time. I'm gonna crush you. You don't want that. Thank
George and Katie, and Donna and TJ. Yeah. George and Katie, Donna and TJ. So, Donna, TJ, you've met? Yes, we George have. and Katie? We George? have. George? What do you think of the competition? I think they're very nice, but we're going to be close. Yeah? <laughs> Get over here. Come closer. I need some love. <laughs> We're at Brimfield. This is the place to find incredible deals on wonderful one-of-a-kind finds, and you will need to because we have a fabulous food list that includes distinctive dining, great and unique dining set, and super perfect. One that easy, chairs, mix match, whatever. Polished industrial. This sounds like it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Elevate an industrial head into a polished interior design piece. You can do that literally or figuratively. Surprise us. Functional. We want you guys to put the funk in functional. Sound good? Yeah. yeah. All right. Good. Really good. This is the deal, right? You have $500, and you have one hour to cover a lot of ground here. The dealers have boxes of stuff, and they have to be So dig. You never know. This is one of our before and afters. We took a um, rack and we created it into this beautiful um, man cave piece. So we were allowed to bring anything we had at home and they gave us $100 in spending money to buy things that we needed. So I had this Jeep uh, grill at home and I said, oh my God, let's make this a man cave piece. And I knew I wanted the headlights of the Jeep to light up. So I took the headlights out of the Jeep and I went to a local um, glass guy. And actually I went to three. Three people would not, two people would not help me. This man who is literally right down the road from me, I said to him, this is my story. This is what I want to do. Can you help me? He says, I don't know if it will break. I said, if it breaks, it breaks. If it doesn't break, I'll use it. So he said, okay, I'll help you out. He didn't even charge me. So we took the Jeep headlights, and this is a diamond-plated drill bit, and he literally cut out a hole in both headlights for me so that I can then place light bulbs behind them and light them up. This, by far, was so much fun to see a concept come out of my head and into reality. At first, Lara Spencer, when we were in Connecticut doing our upcycling, she was a little taken back by our piece. But then if you watch the entire episode of Flea Market Flip, you see at the end that she actually kind of gives me a thumbs up for our design, con uh, our, our design concept. So let me know what you think, because this was by far one of my favorites. You have to watch I don't care about <laughs> that. Oh yeah, my god! Try the try the uh, the things how it fits in there. Okay, let me. Here we are. We're on our way to Connecticut to go do the workshop for flea market flip. This was the stain that we chose to use for the wine bar slash high top table. They needed a concept that would fit in an apartment, and I I honestly believe this came out amazing. 
My son TJ did all the welding. If you haven't seen this episode of Flea Market Flip, please go watch it. It's actually fun to watch. He did an amazing job. To think we started with that piece and we ended up with this piece. Gotta love it. I actually want him to make me one for my house. <laughs> Let's see if that happens. Our next piece I would call our statement piece, which is the Jeep rack. We took that rack and created it into something that wows me. Love it. Now this, this was um, a little bit more to put together than I thought, but it came out amazing. It's the old ship light, and these are the before and after pictures. I think this would complement any country home. The next part of this is the staging. I staged the high top table in my house for decor purposes. Everything in this picture came from the Dollar Tree. We were allowed to buy things with the $100 that they gave us, and this is how I decorated for the actual day of the sale. Here we are, the day of the sale. We're at the Long Island City Flea Market in uh, Queens, New York. Um, can you hear that ac accent in my voice? I am a native New Yorker. Um, it was freezing this day. The wind was whipping, whipping. But this was an experience that I am so blessed to have had with my son. I was able to do this with my oldest son. My younger son was actually here this day with his girlfriend. They were able to watch the entire thing. They actually walked around the flea market and bought some things. Um, this is TJ, so proud of him. He's my welder. So proud of Vinny, my youngest, who's my art major. But if you haven't seen this episode, please go watch it. I promise you, you will laugh. You'll be like wowed over it. And you'll have some behind the scenes footage and see what it was like from our eyes. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I am a very creative person. I just don't have one niche. I have plenty, so I'll always keep you on your toes. You'll never know what you're gonna see when you watch one of my videos. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for sharing this experience with me. And I hope to see you real soon. Bye.